Highland Alliance. This is Mrs. Warm. And right now I'm going to read How to Catch Santa by Jean Reagan and illustrated by Lee Wildish. After waiting for days and days and days, it's finally Christmas Eve. And that's when you can try to catch Santa. As you know, Santa's very busy and you won't be able to keep him for long. So plan ahead. Figure out now how to make the most of your time. First of all, don't you have a zillion questions to ask him? Questions for Santa. How do you stay clean? How do you squeeze down chimneys? What about houses with no chimneys? How fast do reindeer fly to get everywhere in one night? What's their fuel? Magic? Do elves ever sneak a ride in your sleigh? What about kids? How do you find kids who are away on trips? What's your favorite toy? Do you get mountains and mountains of letters? Who invents new toys at your workshop? The elves? Mrs. Claus? You? Do you really eat cookies at everyone's house? Maybe you'll have things you want to tell him. Things to tell Santa. I'm trying very hard to be good. My sister is too even if it doesn't look like it. Thank you for the presents. Sorry, I always forget to send a thank you note. I know what my mom and dad want. They were too busy to write you. And maybe you have things you want to give him. Santa will love that. Things to give Santa. A headlamp for going down dark, dark chimneys. A nose warmer for cold sleigh rides. Drawings of Santa with your family. Homemade Christmas decorations for Mrs. Claus. Okay, now you know what you'll do once you catch Santa. It's time to figure out how to do it. Definitely don't try anything too wild and crazy like lassoing Santa, distracting him with a giant candy cane, luring him into a snow trap with snowmen whose signs say free cookies and land here, Santa tying nets between palm trees. Instead, be crafty, be clever, be gentle. If you're very lucky, you will actually catch Santa. But you might only catch a glimpse of him. Or you might just find Santa's been here clues. Plan for all these possibilities. Early on Christmas Eve, write Santa a note and fill it with glitter. When he opens it, glitter will sprinkle all over him and he'll leave a trail. That's a Santa's been here clue for sure. Scatter carrots in your yard or on the windowsill. If they disappear, that's a reindeer have been here clue. Write Santa riddles, but don't give the answers yet. Bake him cookies. Instead of putting them by the tree, draw arrows leading to your room. String bells and chimes above the cookies. That way, he'll make a racket and wake you up. Now, try to be patient. While you wait, sing Christmas songs and read books about Santa. Maybe you'll even get some new Santa-catching ideas. Ask your mom and dad if they ever tried to catch Santa when they were little. Do they have any tricks? Check with your grandma and grandpa too. When it starts to get dark, Santa and his reindeer begin their rounds. Have everyone keep an eye out the window. If your family makes lots of noise, laughing, eating, talking, playing games, say shh every now and then and listen for Santa sounds. Santa sounds. Santa doing stretches on your neighbor's roof. Sleigh bales. Reindeer whinnying in the distance. Ho, ho, ho. Elves giggling. When you start to get sleepy, make last minute preparations. Leave the Christmas tree lights on to help Santa see his way around. Rudolph with his red nose so bright can't help him from the roof. Set out your Santa riddles with a note that says, for help with the answers, wake me up. Santa won't be able to resist. 
Is your puppy a good watchdog? A good gentle watchdog? If yes, then let him stay in your bedroom. Remember, Santa won't come to your house until you're asleep. Before you lay your head on your pillow, peek out the window one last time. Good luck catching Santa and Merry Christmas. And if you didn't catch Santa this time, don't worry. There's always next year. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to this story as much as I always enjoy reading them. Have a great day.